What's up guys, I'm Waleed. Welcome back to Crash Course. Today we're gonna to be talking about the different build systems you can come across during the First Tech Challenge. Now, given there are over 80,000 teams in the First Tech Challenge, it only makes sense that there are gonna be a variety of parts and build systems that you can use. The four most common uh, would be Rev Robotics, Go Builder Robotics, Tetrix, and Actobotics, though Actobotics is quite similar to Go Builder. Starting off with Tetrix, our team used to use Tetrix for our chassis and other parts, however, we have moved on from Tetrix um, and donated our parts. So unfortunately, we do not have some parts to show you today. Um, but just talking in general, Tetrix is possibly the most popular uh, uh, brand for FTC teams, um, especially for rookie teams and teams that are getting started. Now, Tetrix is around the second cheapest option of all of these build systems I'm going to mention. However, with price comes quality. Tetrix is um, pretty much generally cheap. The, the machined parts um, are generally cheap compared to the other parts. They bend um, and pretty much this lack of quality can lead to um, problems that you encounter in your robot. Additionally, um, on top of poor quality, there isn't really too much of part selection that is available for Tetrix. Um, if your team does not mind using unique uh, parts, uh, this shouldn't be too, too much of a problem. However, if your team likes to innovate and find creative solutions to problems you encounter using unique parts, you might want to stay away from Tetrix. All right, guys, so the next system we're going to be talking about is the Rev Robotic System, as we have here. So these are the Rev Expansion Nuts and a motor. You also have Rev Extrusions. These are very useful. Uh, however, we'll get to that later. So. Rev Robotics is the cheapest of all these systems, however, it is the most reliable. Um, so, Rev is created by FIRST mentors for FIRST students, as they say. Um, and the really, really nice thing about Rev is the constant, um, or the constant improvement of their parts. They're, you know, season after season, they're coming out with parts that are useful to both students um, and FTC teams. So, as we might not see, um, great variability in the part selection from Rev. What we do see is a very strong electronic selection. Um, and so almost every team uses uh, Rev electronics in their robot. Um, these are the Rev hubs. These uh, Rev control hubs or expansion hubs. Uh, they connect to uh, your robot and allow you to control uh, various servos um, and electronics and such. We also have Rev motors, though these are not nearly as great as the Go build the motors. These are still a fairly compact and good options for teams who are not willing to go all out on motors. Another thing to add on is the electronic system is widely compatible with pretty much any other electronics you're willing to use. Um, it's pretty much just a simple uh, cable that you would attach um, and this would allow you to use pretty much any uh, electronics, whether that be from GoBuilder or any other company. Um, overall, if you're looking for great electronics to use within your robot, uh, please go ahead and use Rev Robotics. All right, guys, we saved the best for last. Go build our robotics, as you can see here. Um, this robot, this uh, this build system is used by many, many teams here uh, in the First Tech Challenge. This is what we primarily use at Team 5773. Now, this is the most expensive system out of all. Um, however, if you do get to use, re I'm sorry, go build the parts, you will understand that the price comes with the quality. This is excellent quality. You rarely find uh, production errors in their machined parts. These are very durable, very robust. Their electronics also, uh, also are great quality, their servos, their servos and motors are created very well. You have a wide selection of parts. Um, and overall, it's a very well-rounded uh, build system. Overall, there really isn't much left to say about GoBuilder. It's tried and true. This is pretty much the best system you can have, in our opinion. Um, however, you might find that other systems work best for you. And finally, uh, as an honorable mention, we would have Actobotics. Unfortunately, we do not have Actobotics parts. Um, that is because we simply do not use those. Um, now, Actobotics is very similar to the GoBuilder system. They are at a very similar price point and they are uh, nearly uh, equivalent quality. Um, you can either opt for GoBuilder and Acto, uh, I'm sorry, Actobotics. However, 
Go build that does have better part selection overall. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like and share this with your uh, friends and other FTC teams. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.